Hi, today I'm here to welcome Morgan Rosardi. Morgan is the Director of Admissions at the number one community college in the state of Pennsylvania, Butler County Community College. So, congratulations, Morgan. Well, thank you. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? It's super exciting to be employed at the number one community college in Pennsylvania. So, I can imagine, first off, let me ask you, how long have you been at BC3? I've been at BC3 for 13 years now, going on 14 so, okay, wow. Yeah. So have you always worked in admissions? Not always in admissions. I started my tenure in the Keys program, okay. which is Keystone Education Yield Success, uh, which is a grant-funded program at the college. I was there for probably about a year and a half before I moved over to admissions, and I've been in admissions ever since. I know, and she's been growing in admissions. Yes. I've been watching you. This is exciting. <laughs> yes, very exciting. Oh. I've enjoyed all of my time meeting students. That's the best part about my job is really connecting with students, meeting them, and seeing them throughout their time at BC3 in multiple capacities. Right. Yeah. And now we're talking about, I know we have a lot of activities happening on campus. Correct. And on the many different campuses nice. that are located around the area. How many campuses does BC3 have? So we actually have six total locations. Okay. And then we do have a fair amount of students that take courses online, too. So with COVID and everything, that's ramped up a lot as well. Um, but we are busy. We travel a lot of the state uh, <laughs> recruiting students as far away as Brockway, which yeah. is about an hour and a half from our main campus, uh, to our backyard in Cranberry Township, uh, up to Newcastle Hermitage. So we stay pretty busy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what's happening right now in admissions that I saw were a lot of different open houses and opportunities for prospective students and their families to visit one of these locations, right? Absolutely. So we try to do an open house event each term. So our fall open houses are coming up. Uh, we have one coming up at the main campus in Butler, actually on October 25th. Okay. So it's towards the end of the month here. It's a Tuesday evening from 5 to 7. All right. Uh, we also have an event at our Cranberry Township location, BC3 at Cranberry. Uh, we always tell folks behind the Costco is the best way to locate it. Brand yep. uh, new renovated building. I so know, beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Love going down there. Uh, that's coming up in November, on November 3rd. And that one is from 6 to 8. So okay. those ones are local, but we have... Uh, open house events at all of our campus locations. Uh, so if students were interested in finding out more, seeing one of those sites, uh, they can just visit our website, bc3.edu uh, slash open dash houses. Get you right to where you need to be. All right. Morgan, do, is it, do people need to register for these? No, they do not. So one of the things about open houses is that we want students to come regardless of an RSVP. You can. It helps us with the planning, of course, sure. uh, making sure that we have enough supplies and information for folks. But if students decide the day of, hey, I can make it, we welcome them. Right. Yeah. And I participated in an open house as a faculty member, and I know that students and their families can talk to faculty. They get to see the facilities. They get to engage and meet other students that yes. are at BC3. Right? Correct. So one of, I think, the highlights of Open House is our faculty are there. So we have representatives that um, represent all of our academic divisions. We have uh, 56 associate degrees, 25 certificates, all of them represented at Open House. Uh, faculty who are so knowledgeable in their craft are there to talk about what they can do at BC3. We also have some of our transfer partners there. Okay. So I believe we have 15 uh, four-year institutions that students can transfer to uh, after they leave BC3 attending as well. So it shows the pathways that students can take and even community partners like Concordia will be there. Uh, so it's just really nice to see them all come together in the same room. Uh, and then campus tours uh, right. led by our wonderful student ambassadors. Yes. So they do get to meet some of our uh, BC3 students in that capacity as well. Okay. Well, since I'm on campus quite often, mm -hmm. I see that construction's happening and ramping up. And what's going on on the main campus? So uh, we look at it every single day, see it grow and change before our eyes. Uh, we are in the process of constructing the Victor K. Phillips uh, Nursing and Allied Health Building. Okay. And so that's a brand new construction, and it's going to house our um, Schaefer School of Nursing and Allied Health, nursing, physical therapist assistant, medical assistant, and massage therapy. Right. Mm -hmm. So definitely look and learn about any of those programs interest you. Learn more about 
them online too and the registrations and all of those Correct. that are happening, right? Correct. I will mention yeah, our please. nursing RN program uh, application is open now and it closes at the end of October. So we're oh, really coming. encouraging students, especially those that aren't familiar with how far in advance you have to apply to the nursing RN program to get on our website and take a look at that application. And, and Morgan, would that be applying then for the fall of 2023? Correct. So that's okay. for the fall of 23. Um, it's a selective program, so there is a special application for it. And and so as long as they have that submitted by October 31st, they're in the consideration for fall of 23. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. It's, <laughs> it's coming. coming fast. October is flying it's by. <laughs> and also, while we still have you here with us, I know that maybe individuals might be interested in starting the next semester, which begins in January. Correct. So we do have our spring semester just around the corner. I joke and say it is the spring semester, but it's in the middle of January. Right. Um, and so we are enrolling students now for that spring semester. Uh, which begins on January 17th. And we have uh, some later start dates, but that's like our main start date where a lot of students enroll, get kicked off in the semester. But we have a couple fast tracks and later start dates as well. Uh, so we're getting those applications in, placement testing, registering students. Uh, so that's all happening now too. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Oh, you can tell you. how busy she is. Stay pretty <laughs> busy. And please visit bc3.edu and learn more about the number one community college in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.